what's going on guys it's Jeff and this is a little random we are here over on Roblox now are we truly out of content when we go over to Roblox no Roblox is content last time that I played Roblox it was actually a challenge accepted back in 2017 so it has been about five and a half years since the last one I saw that Dismo made a video on this and there was videos over on Twitter saying that there's no way that this is Roblox so I'm a complete noob to Roblox I don't even understand how everything works exactly I know that a lot of the stuff like with the store and stuff has a lot of crazy stuff going on with it but just sticking with the game without diving deep into all that now, when I made that video obviously with Roblox there's a whole bunch of different games and it's just like an entirely like mod client kind of thing I'm probably explaining and butchering it horribly but that's how it is in my mind a bunch of different games can be made of this front lines ended up actually getting an update which made it look ultra realistic and nothing like actual Roblox front lines before literally you could see that your character's arm and stuff was like square you can see it in that old Roblox video I don't know if I was playing front lines back then but I was playing some FPS game mode that they had before and it was actually really fun like this stuff is unironically very fun but it was also very obviously Roblox this time around it's near unrecognizable in comparison so if you guys want more Roblox in the future leave a like on this video also leave a comment on here and let me know if there's any other fun stuff I could play on Roblox why not I'm not looking to dive too deep in the Roblox or anything like that but kind of similar to uh, the Minecraft stuff that we did before play for a little bit here and there have some fun so I played one game out just to like see if the game is gonna run and stuff so all we have at the moment is just this mp5 i think we can't afford anything else because we have absolutely no money at all we have to get about three and a half grand to get to any sniper rifle at all there's a sniper rifle called the fix which is about eight grand this looks nothing this is roblox understand this is ridiculous if this is roblox we got a tax sprint and everything we can slide cancel See, even Roblox understands what it's like to have some sort of radar in the top left. And there's map voting. How is Roblox doing Call of Duty better than Call of Duty? Unironically, this has more features in it that Call of Duty had. Hey, everybody swap over. Come on over. Wait, I made zero dollars. How? I got kills and we won the game. How did I get zero dollars? So you have to click the spawn thing every time or is there like a force respawn button? I'm such a Roblox noob. I remember playing some scary game before as well. It's like some survival thing where it, it, people were like zombies or something. I remember that scared the shit out of me. Also, really quick, I want to thank everybody for all the love and support on that Resident Evil video yesterday. It was just a demo and people were loving it, so. Guy on the map? Oh, he is. Okay, so it's not just moving. I think they have to shoot. I have no idea how the uh, radar works at all. So obviously, they pop up whenever you shoot. Some of them are solid circles and other ones are like... I'm dead. Oh, do I have to get real Robux in order to actually get my thing or can I earn this? There's no way I gotta pay to win for this, right? I love how arcadey these maps are. They seem like they're all designed with like a flow in mind and everything. It's immediate. Unironically, it feels like old Call of Duty. Maybe the not filled in circle means they're what? Maybe the not filled in circle means they're like above or below you. Yeah, okay, so it's like a level thing. They're above you, it's hollowed out. They're on your floor, it's solid. Got it. I also don't know the map design either, so sometimes it felt like they were above me, but they actually weren't or something. I was just confused. Maybe I shouldn't be shooting them all in the kneecap. That slide cancel, that was crazy. Wait, I can tax sprint and reload at the same time. Uh, I, I'm starting to already understand the spawns just because of the radar immediately. Hey, can you turn a kill feed on and off on here? Is there like a view option to turn it on and off? Oh, and then there's the XP bar at the bottom. They know exactly what they're doing. This is actually unironically better. There are better game design choices right here than the current iteration of Call of Duty. Obviously, graphically, I I'm exaggerating a little bit in terms of like, you know, it's quality. But for Roblox, this looks incredible. Against Call of Duty, obviously, Call of Duty looks a bit better. But I mean, does it matter? Oh. My teammate, please get him. Dude, I was spamming last epoch. I'm almost max level. I don't know how the end game is for last epoch, but I swear sometimes when I die on my screen, my cursor ends up like unlocking outside of my screen and I end up clicking off. I'm playing like a really bad borderless window or something. The grenade throw is so slow. Is the knife any fat? It doesn't. No, it's really not. Barely winning. Oh, we won. 97 to 93. There's got to be like a kill feed, uh, like setting or something, right? Got 39 kills. I'm not even a mouse and keyboard player, guys. Got to relax. I'm playing Roblox. The thing is, though, like, I don't want to disrespect Roblox like that because the thing is, there are some genuinely good players on these games. Like, it doesn't matter. Oh, I have $500. I can afford uh, that AR. No, I don't need it, though. I'm just going to save it. What, I get like $500 a win or what? 
I got warrior. Okay, I'm glad that some people in these lobbies are equally as horrible as me, though. I straight up don't use the input. Everything's fast-paced. TTK feels good. I mean, obviously, I'm sure there's some balance issues, but look-wise, I, I cannot believe that this is Roblox. I, I genuinely can't. And it's not a joke. It's not hyperbole. There are better, multiple, better design choices and gameplay choices in this made by people with way less resources. I, I, I just, I don't want to hear it. I understand that there are unique obstacles and stuff that companies and corporations and stuff face in certain ways, but uh, I have very little sympathy at this point. Uh, recoil feels decent. Still doing like the little shimmy back and forth while shooting at people too. Like I have aim assist or something. I wonder how controller feels on this. That felt weird. I should have died there, but that was weird. Like, it wouldn't let me ABS for some reason. A little clunky here and there sometimes. Especially with, like, the tax sprint as well, because probably also mostly due to me not really understanding, uh, you know, the tax sprint outs and all that stuff. Maybe I'm just thinking I could tax sprint, but I really can't. The animations, everything, it just seems like it's all done separately. I don't know if it's, like, where they got the assets from, or if they made them all themselves, or if it was copied from somewhere. I, I don't know. If it was a combination of a bunch of different stuff. I haven't used any attachments or bought anything either, so this is just a base MP5, and it just feels so good. I don't think I've ever killed anyone with a grenade. I throw it and it feels like it takes forever to explode. I could try to cook it. It was 55 to 4. Okay, I don't even know if we were playing against people. There were four people that straight up have no score at all. Okay. This is unironically fun. The UFC event last night as well, uh, Marab Balashvili ended up beating Dude Yan. Dominated, really. Like, he won every single round. Some people are mad at him. They're like, oh, dude, all this guy does is lay and pray and blah, blah, blah. They're like so upset about it too. But the thing is, I've even seen people like giving him credit. Like, yeah, he won. He won fair and square. They're not even calling him boring but then they go and say something along the lines of like watching this guy fail 50 takedown attempts or whatever to me it didn't even feel like it was like a failed takedown thing if one of my strongest suits is my cardio i'm going to impose that cardio on you as hard as possible and one of the best ways to impose that cardio is to have as much output as possible so you do that by punching as much as you can and spamming takedowns as much as you can and in that same process against yan yan shells up a whole lot his defense is very very well known but if you repeatedly shoot at him and only landed like six of them but you make him think repeatedly over and over and over again it can even get to the point where he's just accepting getting taken down because he knows he can get back up one thing that this is doing though it is utilizing at all times no matter what he does fail or success in that takedown he is succeeding at draining you more than you are draining him i don't think it's a fail i think that he knew that yan would be able to get up so it seemed like he didn't use a ton of energy trying to keep him down there. Even though Marab is definitely, that, that's got to be the most ridiculous gas tank I've ever seen. I don't even think I'm going out on a limb by saying that's actually the best gas tank I've ever seen. I have never seen that much output without him seeming like he's not even tired at all. At the end of it, he's literally not even winded giving the interview, hopping around. Also, all of those shots, whether they succeeded or failed, pulled Jan's guard down off of his face, which allowed Marab also to outstrike him. Pure volume, nothing you can do. You got to hope that you can crack. Never seen that in my life amazing there's not a thing you can do about it it's not like he's doing some lay and pray type shit yan's eye is literally a tennis ball and he was outstruck i, I don't know what else to say I think Pyotr yan he's lost like four in his last five or something like that that's ridiculous too considering how good he is Dude, this feels so natural to me that i just started talking about things i'm comfortable with top of the leaderboard i feel good this is genuinely fun so yeah and just let me know if you guys want more roblox in the future the last time i did a roblox video was like 50 60 000 likes on that challenge accepted thing thank you guys so much for all the love and support check out front lines i mean it, way better than i was expecting it to be i thought like, okay, fine, it would look better, but not feel good. Like, no, it's actually good. And unironically, a better multiplayer experience than Modern Warfare 2. <laughs>